Jordan Peterson just exposed the truth about the Bible and Jesus to yet another agnostic. Constantine Kisson's agnosticism meets Jordan Peterson's firm belief. So there's a, there's a scene in the Gospels where, you know, the Pharisees and the uh, scribes, so they're the woke bureaucrats, really, <laughs> in many ways. They're trying to trap Christ all the time because they think he's dangerous and they'd like to nail him for heresy. And so they get a lawyer to come up to him and say, uh, Master, which you, 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 you say you abide by the commandments. Uh, which of them is the greatest? And here's the trick. The trick is, well, no matter what Christ says, they're going to nail him because if he makes any one commandment superordinate to the others, then he denigrates the others and they can go after him on that front. So they really put him on the spot. And he says something that refers back to this principle of Mount Sinai, this idea of a horizontal and a vertical axis, right? And he says, um, you should love God with all, your, with all your heart and with all your mind, and you should love other people as you love yourself. And so, and then he says, and those, that's the meta principle upon which all the commandments rest. And so it's an amazing sleight of hand, eh, because he answers the question, but he doesn't allow himself to be trapped. And what he says is, and this is akin to what you just laid out. You said, well, I don't need faith in a religious structure because I can abide by these principles. And so we could think of the principles as your version of the Ten Commandments. Mm. Maybe there's 20 of them. I don't know how many there are, but, and they're derived from your own experience, and I think, and the experience of your family. But then you might think, let's assume for a moment that all those principles are good. And so we're assuming that there's a commonality across the principles, and that commonality is that which I, allows them to be categorized as good. Okay. And then the question would be, well, what's the underlying meta-principle that unites them as good? And that's exactly the question that Christ is trying to answer. So he says, well, you want to be oriented towards the highest good, conceivable. You want to be open to that. And so that would be something like making the decision in your life that you were going to strive towards whatever was good, whatever that is, right? Just, just to make that the initial proposition. And then you were gonna treat other people as if they were as valuable as you are and vice versa. And that that's the underlying two dimensional, two dimensions of the principle that gives rise to, let's say all necessary commandments. And then I would say that the spirit that puts God above all else, puts the divine above all else, and that unites us with other people, that is what the monotheistic tendency tilts towards portraying. Jordan Peterson navigates through the intricacies of biblical narratives, moral philosophy, and the essence of human values with his characteristic depth and intellect. This episode provides a profound exploration of how Jesus Christ's teachings continue to offer unparalleled wisdom on the nature of good, the importance of faith, and the foundation of moral actions in today's world.